So as some of you guys know, a couple of weeks ago, this prison officer was unfortunately, unfortunately exposed for having sex with the prison inmate. It was a very explicit video that a lot of people were sharing around social media. I was commenting on it. I was watching it several times because although it was very, 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 very bad what they did, it was also an incredibly hot video. So a lot of people were sharing it and enjoying it um, for what it was. But unfortunately that video obviously got out we watched it which obviously is not a good thing and the uh, prison officer himself is now in a lot of trouble a lot a lot a lot of trouble and now this particular prison officer former prison officer i guess has come out to try to correct the narrative that's been going on outside and it's funny because when i watched the video there wasn't much of a narrative to kind of take away from it apart from it's a prison officer obviously doing something that she shouldn't have done but clearly indulging um you know in her lust and enjoying the situation that she was in clearly based on the video you can't say she was doing it under duress or anything so they, i don't feel like there was any narrative to be kind of corrected if anything i was almost surprised that she was acting very ashamed about it but it also made me realize oh that's the difference between the uk and america we don't really have that kind of like for lack of a better term hoary slutty x-rated lacking in morals and dignity and just any kind of semblance of shame attitude that america has which is probably why they create and produce and manufacture so many celebrities in different types of facets in all different types of lane because they have no self oh, was self, they have no like shame they have no level of embarrassment they don't really like that yeah like even cool people actually i think tim dylan made a point of that even cool people in america have done one thing in their lives especially online that you could deem to be corny they could deem to be lame they could deem to be a bit like uh beneath that person but they're all willing and able to do that that's why they probably secure the bag and that's why they probably have a thriving thriving celebrity industry both from people that are actually celebrities and the viewers themselves who watch it and the publications it's all this all it's a big machine but i think in the uk we're probably a little bit more puritanical maybe it's a catholicism base i'm not too sure what it is but that idea of being that openly like sexual and op yeah, openly sexual lacking principles and morals and whatever it may be doesn't work the only place i can think of who did that last at a really big level and was really unapologetic about it was probably jordan and whenever Jordan does appear on any blog, especially online, the comments are always negative. But she's the only person that's been consistently, yeah, I, I, I am who I am. I am Katie Price. I am Jordan. It is what it is. She's very unapologetic and very steadfast in that. But I think the UK, you're kind of steered to be a certain type of celebrity. But you can't be that American celebrity that's very, you know, out there with it. I, like, for instance, I don't think we would ever produce a Kim Kardashian. I don't think our industry, our public would ever let a Kim Kardashian get to the level of celebrity that she got to. I think she could only get to that celebrity in America where you start off being known as like a socialite, then you have that sex video with Ray J and then you turn into whoever you turn into now. I don't think that could ever happen in the UK. So with all that being said, that made me think, oh, rah, man, this girl's not going to be able to enjoy this moment because I feel like if she did that in a US prison, she would have like a TV show by now confirmed, maybe on Zeus, who cares, but she'll still have one. She'll be on all the big popular podcasts, getting appearance money. She'd be doing walkthrough at clubs. Like she'd be having sponsors on her Instagram. Like things would be going up for her. Yes, there'll be people writing op-eds and being complaining about her lifestyle and blah, 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 blah. But I think if she was in America, she could profit immensely from this. But unfortunately, she's from here. Um, even though I think she's got uh, Portuguese ancestry, she's from here. And we just, it doesn't run like that here anymore. So now that she's in trouble with the courts, she's lost her job and shit. It's not looking good for her because I've not also seen on other podcasts. Maybe she's avoiding going on the podcast now because there's an active um, court case on her and she probably can't talk about the situation. But I think if she was in America, she could definitely profit off this way more than she can in the UK. So she came out, broke her silence. And it's a funny video, I feel like, because there's not much to explain. It's a video of where you're in prison, bouncing on a prisoner's dick, having a good time, and the other prisoner's recording you. There's not much to explain here, really and truly. It's unfortunate that you got caught because you, it's not like you didn't mean to do it. You did it because you like to do it and you wanted to do it and you're happy to do it. It's just unfortunate you got caught. But there's no narrative to rewrite or to correct, really. But in England, you kind of have to always like, 
you know, cop please and beg for forgiveness and explain yourself and all this sort of stuff, which is a nonsense, really. Grown adults consenting in grown adult things. Obviously inappropriate in a situation, but it's unfortunate that her whole life has come tumbling down and the only avenue out she probably has is moving to another country or just doubling down on the OnlyFans, unfortunately. Hello once again, Instagram. I hope you can appreciate this. this is going to be a very awkward and uncomfortable conversation for me to have. I just thought I really needed to come on here and clarify a lot of things. <laughs> number one, she's got her number. She's got her best English accent on, isn't it? Her best because we all have this in us. We all have this ability to speak like this. All of us from here, all of us. But I want to know when she took the mandem. What does she sound like? When this girl's with the mandem, what does she sound like? When she's with the fellas, does she sound like this? When she's up, when she's with the other babes out in the club, does she sound like this? Come on, man. She got her best good girl face. I'm actually okay, okay, but that's a job interview voice. That's your job interview voice when you go to Liverpool Street for a job interview. You put on your best fucking outfit to have an interview with someone in the Starbucks and explain why you are qualified to have that fucking 28K a year job. That's what that is. Big up this girl. First thing being, there has been a lot, and I mean a lot, a tremendous amount of <laughs> fake profiles of me that have been monetizing off of my disfortune. And Why don't you jump on it then, brother? Do you know how boring this country is? This country is so boring, they ban fucking balloons. They ban scooters at one point. When I was in school, they ban yo-yos. They ban Beyblades. They ban everything. This country is anti-fun. If you know that's the case, we don't even have clubs that are open past 2 a.m. Most clubs in London close before 1 a.m. We have an entire strip in Liverpool Street, all the way until flipping Stoke Newton, where there's no club open after 4. I think we may be the exception of Vogue Fabrics. I think. I don't know anymore because I don't really go there anymore. But there's no clubs open. No fun times to be had unless you want to go and have a fun time in Box Park. If you like raving in Box Park, you might as well rave in Westfield. In my personal opinion, we're anti-fun. If that's the case, babes, open your own Instagram. Monetize on that thing yourself. Jump on TikTok. Get all those fucking, mmm, banana so good, mmm. Do all that sort of shit. Enjoy yourself, man. Capitalize on the money. Because, God forbid, this might be your only time of freedom. This might girl might, this girl, touch wood, she doesn't. But this girl might legit end up in prison. So the time that you're out, let's just cash it in. Let's get let's get some appearances on some podcast. And again, honey dick them as well. Let agree to go on there. Then when you get on there, say, I can't talk about this. It's an active, it's an active ongoing court case. I can't talk about this as an actor. Like whatever, it doesn't matter. At least you're on there and you cash in the money. Jump on TikTok, cash in the money. Jump on stream, cash in the money. Come on, bro. This country's boring. You can't wait for people to like. She should have been on there already. She should have put her profile up. And should have immediately gone to Instagram and got it verified. Because now you're in the news, you can get your profile verified. Because they want to make sure that a notable person in the news, you can spot which profile is the legit one. And even though now on Instagram, you can pay for ticks. I think if you click the tick, it tells you if the person paid for it, kind of. Or if they're a legit celebrity known person in the news. That's what you should have done. You shouldn't have waited. You dilly-dallied too long, bro. Dilly-dallied. Um, the scandal that the entire world has somehow managed to be involved in. <laughs> this wasn't, you went, you went on a date, bro. You didn't go to a fucking easy hotel with your fella and had a bit of a bonk session and somebody recorded a little audio of you through your door or something. You're in the prison cell with another prisoner. That guy is, that guy is a real op, by the way. If I, if I ever share a picture of that Asian dude smoking a blunt and I share it to you, no, I'm on some hating thing. If I send you a screenshot of that guy's face smiling, smoking a joint, no, I'm on a hating vibe. No, that I'm on hating time. Because that guy is such a hater that he wasn't getting the cheeks that he leaked it. That's my theory anyway. My theory is that he tried to smash. She said no. He was like, what? Got pissed off and leaked it. Because he was, trying to, he was trying to probably blackmail her and her being a dummy was like, no, nah, I'm not going to do it. You're going to, you're going to, you can, you can put it out there, which is a dumb move, I think so. Because, you know, 
just give me a little tug and it, it would have kept it quiet and you kept a job and you can still go and do your thing if you need to. But she found him so, so repulsive. She was willing to risk her job and her freedom. <laughs> I have not monetized one fucking bit at all. This is my only social media platform and I only just activated it again. You should have, babe. This isn't noble. You're not noble. You're not a principled person. No one's looking at you for that. We saw you jumping up and down some cell, Selly's dick in prison, bareback, full 1080p. There is no going back. You're not a, uh, that, that, I'm sorry, that is gone now. It's unfortunate. It might be the only time you've ever done that in your life, but this is the nature of the game. <laughs> you know what I mean? Unfortunately, unfortunately, you literally, you legit could have lost your virginity there and everyone would have still looked at you as a whore. Unfortunately so. That's, it is what it is. Take it, monetize it. Because you've only got a short window. It's a short window. In the UK, it's worse because we don't really have, I wouldn't say healthy or separate culture, but people here are kind of hatery. So look at Hoktua girl. I don't think Hoktua girl lasts long in the UK. There's going to be op-eds about her being, ah, I love a white person, ah, complaining about that sort of shit. People won't be happy about that. Even in America, they're doing that. But it wouldn't last here. So you have to be quick. To jump on it. She wasn't quicker. She dilly dallied. People monetized. I, I, could, I think at one time, I was actually searching for this video and I was searching her name on Instagram and I actually did see profiles that had like cash apps in their URL, PayPal links. That's your fault. You should have done that before, bro. You should have had your cash up there. HMP, 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 HMP Baddy. HMP Bay. You should have had your profile already set up. You didn't. And now you're paying the ultimate price. So... If you do come across fake profiles of me asking for money, please don't fall for it. There's been a lot of GoFundMes and fake OnlyFans accounts that are not me. And I do apologise. By the way, she does have an OnlyFans account. It did get leaked and the videos are X-rated. X-rated. So it's not like she's just a one-off thing. It's not a one-off thing. She obviously enjoys what she's doing. Fair. She might have a relationship, but that's allowed. Fair. Whatever. Just this is not necessary. You don't need to cop please like this. You don't need to try to explain yourself and paint up a narrative. We know what it is. You just should have capitalized it when you could have capitalized on it. Because the evidence is out there. Like, look, come on, come on. You're not fooling anybody, my darling. If you have fallen for it, I honestly, but from the bottom of my heart, I apologize. But I really want to clarify that this is my only social media account and I just came back on. On the topic of impersonation, I thought it very important for me to address this very It's a filter, but she's a cute girl, isn't it? It's a filter, but she's a cute girl. She actually looks way cuter here than she does in the pictures that we've seen online. Those like model photo shoot pictures she's got online. But hopefully in the future, this leads to a love island. This leads to something, something. Because professionally her career's done. Her career's done, done, isn't it? Professionally. She might not even be able to get front of house jobs. Distasteful subject of OnlyFans creators impersonating and pretending to be me and recreating the scenario of said scandal, which I am involved in. Very, very distasteful for you to monetize or. <laughs> Who are you kidding, bro? What's distasteful? You bear back in some prisoner four weeks into his prison stint and having it all recorded on a Nokia 3210. Or people re-recording it. Come on, man. Advertise yourselves as me for OF content. It doesn't interfere with my trial, but furthermore, it is incredibly, incredibly distasteful. It doesn't interfere with my trial. Babes, maybe don't have sex with prisoners on camera. I'm not even saying don't do it because clearly it happens. It's going to happen. I was surprised in my opinion. I was kind of surprised when I saw her and I was like, oh, you work in the prison. I don't know. I, I, obviously, you can't discriminate people based on their looks. But I'd imagine if you've got a prison full of very young men from a particular walk of life, from a particular background, you would imagine putting a woman like that in there is almost like, you know, hovering a piece of meat on top of a fucking piranha pool. You know what I mean? It's You're playing with fire. But again, you can't discriminate just because she looks like a baddie. You can't say she can't get a job. She gets the job. Cool. She's in there with her fucking tailored trousers, hiked up her asshole, bum probably poking, tits. But and you can imagine if you're in prison, it's almost like work. When you're at work, you get like work goggles. 
the girl that is at work that's got like a slight arch. She she looks like she's got a dumper on her. She looks like Doja Cat or fucking Megan Thee Stallion to you because you're at work and you see her so often and you start to fucking, you know, exaggerate features and start to be all Google at people. Could you imagine what it's like in prison? It's probably 10 times worse. There's not that many girls. You don't have much access to people and you see her walking up and down and in and around and helping stuff and bending and grabbing stuff. You're like, ah. Do you know what I mean? So maybe that was where the issue started in the first place. And I have heard there's issues around staffing with the Tories and the prisons and stuff. And they're having to hire more people that they probably wouldn't have hired and lowering maybe the criteria. I don't know. But surely, surely the mistake is just don't do it on camera. If you're going to do that scummy stuff, because I'm sure it happens, maybe slip some things in, you bring some things in, take some things out. Cool. Just don't do it on camera. Please, if you are an OF creator, refrain from tagging said prison. We all know the we all know the name of the prison. Please refrain from tagging HMP Wandsworth on your stupid videos. There are other jails in the world. You don't have to pretend to be me. It's very distasteful. Thank you. And lastly, I wanted to tell you all that you do not know my side of the story. Ah, what side is it? It doesn't fucking matter, really, does it? It doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't matter. It didn't look like you were under duress. It didn't look like you were kidnapped. It didn't look like you get f you were frightened, like you were threatened. Nothing. It looked like you were having a good time, having some quote-unquote public sex, and it went awry because the video went out. It's happened. It's unfortunate. But there is no other side of the story. There is. I'm not sorry. There is no other side. There isn't. If anything, if you're being a bit compassionate, which I'm not going to extend that compassion, but if you were, you would maybe be compassionate to the other guy that's involved. His missus is heavily pregnant. And allegedly, because of all the news that happened, she went into some sort of like labor or something happened with the baby. Hopefully it's okay now. But I'm not going to have too much sympathy for that lady because you also are with the guy who's in prison for like house robberies and shit. Allegedly he went to some house and he stole like drills. This is a big man, he's like 30, 30 plus and he's stealing drills and what, shotting them at fucking cash converters. Like, I'm sorry, if you are if you get impregnated by a bozo loser like that, whatever happens in life and stuff and problems and him going in and out of jail, that's part of the game you have to live with. So don't, you know what I mean? But if you were going to extend some sympathy, it would be to that young lady because she's technically innocent. But you, come on, come on, man, come on, come on. You put your hand on the stove and you got burnt. It is what it is. You can't be complaining that the manufacturer did, didn't build the stove too high. It was, should have been high, it should have been higher. The temperature's too hot. No, don't put your hand on the stove, you won't get burnt. The media has a great way of getting a narrative and twisting it for its own benefit. The media love any story to be salacious and sensational. And then what? <laughs> what? I'm all for digging out the media, but the salacious nature of the story is you bouncing up and down that inmate's dick. That's salacious. You giving that guy, cause I, cause I, I didn't even see the full video. I've only seen a two minute version. Allegedly there's a four minute version where she's like going full Glock 3000 on that guy. Like, Whatever, cool, do what you want to do. But come on, bro, just the first two minutes. What's the, that's, that's salacious. That video clip was salacious. Not what the media's writing. So what the son wrote, rompy, steamy, bonk, whatever, x-ray, whatever. It doesn't care, it doesn't matter what the Daily Mail wrote. The, 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 the fucking content, the, con the content itself, content itself was salacious, baby. They sensationalize everything. You don't know my side of the story. <laughs> and we'll leave it as that for now. <laughs> what a legend. Actually, no, whilst I'm here. Yeah, go on. And this also has to be addressed. Go whilst on. I'm here. You don't know who has you. You don't know who your real friends are until shit hits the fan. <laughs> <laughs> She's so tough. I like her, man. I like her. I like her. I like her, man. I like her. I like her. <laughs> I like her.
I like her, man. This is an insane defense. But I fucking like her, man. I fucking like her. All of my friends who didn't stand by me and protect me while this x ray video of me went out, which they probably had no... Imagine, my friends probably had no knowledge that I even had an OF. They probably discovered all of this off the back of me smashing some inmate bareback in front of his other celly, <laughs> right? Oh, blame them for not standing by me. How dare they don't speak up for me and my good name. <laughs> I got myself in this problem, but my friends should have stood up for me. It's their fault, actually. It's the Daily Mail's fault, my friend's fault. It's you, it's the patriarchy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Honest to God, family, friends, <laughs> you need to pick them very carefully. <laughs> She's funny. I like her. I like her. I like her. I like her. Very, very carefully. Um, what about picking the cellmates you're going to fuck then? Shouldn't you vet them very carefully? Maybe pick the one that doesn't have a horny thirsty Sally that also wants to get involved. Maybe pick one that knows how to play their position. Maybe your decision-making process in that as aspect isn't where it needs to be. Maybe. Obviously, everybody knows my mobile phone number was leaked. There has been people going behind my back. Um, the media have literally been following me everywhere. I can't even go into Greg's or Primark without getting papped. It is very... <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Going through what you're going through... The last thing that should be on your mind is a sausage and bean melt. The last thing that should be on your mind is a multi-pack of socks. I'm not going to lie. Do with what you have, order some stuff online, but the last thing you should be thinking about buying is a vegan sausage roll. I don't know. Maybe. You've got other things to worry about. I don't know. That's what I'll be worried about right now. But what do I know? Annoying. Um, a lot of the time, it's people who you thought got, had your back and they just don't. <laughs> that's been really heartbreaking. On top of all of this, on top of everything, yeah. that's been really heartbreaking too. Okay. So that's just advice for everybody to okay. pick very carefully who you have around. Okay, cool. We'll do. Hello, once <sighs> again. What a girl. What a lady, man. What a lady. I want to use that meme of like girls and accountability and it's like Neo and the accountability is the bullets in the matrix and it's like dodging the bullets. That's all it is, isn't it? Women have such a hard job, such a hard time having any level of accountability. And this is one of them. It's always somebody else's fault. <laughs> always, always. I love it. I fucking love it. Godspeed to her. Godspeed to her.